if you don't have these in your country, make sure you move. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Kinder Chocobo. Today, I wanna try to do an experiment. I wanna give myself permanent freckles. I saw this video on Instagram like ages ago where this girl gave herself like permanent freckles with henna. I loved it. Since I watched that, I always wanted to do it, but I never did because I'm me. And then like two months ago, I met the girl from the video somewhere. I can't even remember where it was. And she had these freckles and I didn't even know it was the girl from the video. And I said to her, girl, I love your freckles. They're so pretty. And she was like, they're fake. And I was completely mind blown. Then she told me she was the girl from the video where she did her freckles with the henna coloring. And I was like, Oh. She even told me which henna coloring she used and where she got it from. So I was like, oh, I have to try this. Now I can't even find any excuses anymore. I have to do this. How about this henna coloring from eBay? Um, it's the Galecha. Galecha. No harmful chemicals, long lasting color. Oh, oh boy. And she told me it's important to buy it in the color like orange brown and not like completely brown because it looks more natural oh and clinically tested okay so it looks like this somehow it looks like sweets or candy i feel like i want to eat it <laughs> oh. it doesn't look like the stuff she used in the video so i'm kind of scared right now so if it comes to prepping your skin for this i don't really know what to do <laughs> she used like carrot oil or something for her face before she applied it i didn't <laughs> I don't really use like pure oils on my face because I feel like it will make my skin super dry afterwards. So I just use like a very thick moisturizer. I have no idea if this is like a good alternative, but <laughs> it's just what I got. Oh, yes, something's coming up. <gasps> oh my God. There's definitely something coming out. Look. Do you know what? I'm not gonna be a chicken finger. I'm gonna do it. Is that how you say chicken finger? Is that like a coward? Like. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, peeps, I'm gonna do it now. How do you guys like my orange hair? It's been a week since I dyed it. I washed it once. <laughs> I'm really good at when it comes to not washing my hair. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, it's on my face now. Also, I have like acne prone skin and I still have a lot of acne scars and also not really amazing skin at the moment. So um, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna look like afterwards. Maybe I can just put it on top of my acne scars and then you just won't be able to see them anymore, I don't know. Oh, it actually burns a little bit, is that normal? Oh, oh, that was a big spot. Oopsie, I have no idea if I'm doing this right. I'm just gonna apply some right here as well, just to give it an overall experience. I don't even know if I'm allergic to henna. I've never had henna on my skin. This is really brave or dumb. It's still burning. Do you guys like this fake freckle trend or are you just like, what the fuck is this? I mean, I've been really loving this trend, but I know a lot of people who hate it. And a lot of people who actually say that if I do my fake freckles, it looks like dirt. So, are you happy now? Is that better? <laughs> this thing is so weird because I had it for like a month and I thought it was a pimple, but it just, it was just there. It was just like a little bump and it didn't even feel like a pimple, like it didn't hurt. It was just there and then it finally has gone down. Now there's just like this mark. I think I just have a new mole on my face, like a birthmark, just that I'm not born with it. It just happened. <laughs> and I'm really upset, so I'm just gonna put some freckles on top. Yes, bitch. Oh man. <gasps> I just did like a straight line. What the fuck? <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> I feel like this is gonna be such a fail. My skin is turning red underneath, which is a very good sign, like very, very good. So I feel like I didn't even use a quarter of this. There's like still so much left in there. So I have like five packs of these so I could basically do freckles like this for my whole lifetime. <sighs> it looks so natural. It's not done yet. What do you think? <laughs> It kind of burns. Vielleicht sollte ich das lieber jetzt abwaschen. Tattoo? Yes, give me a tattoo. BTS, love yourself, Rose. Uh, Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's under there. This is not working. How do I... What should I... <laughs> okay. 
I need to hurry up because I need to wash this off my face. Oops. What the fuck? <laughs> da, we got one in flow. Yeah, we got one in Yay. Wow, it looks horrible on camera. But amazing in person. I think I need to take this off my face right now. A few minutes later. I want to die. <laughs> Insane. Oh my God, was ist das für eine Scheiße? Nein. Ich muss mich vom Krank melden. Ich kann das nicht. Das ist doch überschminken. Das ist voll doll. Das kann ich nicht überschminken. Why do I have it on my lip? Oh, that was chocolate. <laughs> Applause for me. I would say these are some natural looking freckles. Just how I wanted them. <laughs> Vincent is just like looking at the viewfinder and laughing at me. Also, my skin is so red. So, so red. I mean, yes, because I just tried to rub it off like very intensely. <laughs> how do you get this off? Guys, tell me in the comments, how do I fix this? Please help me. Do I need to to cut my face off? <laughs> oh my god, I look like Chucky right now. Oh my god, yeah, it looks like blood. <laughs> it's like I killed you just someone. Killed someone. It's okay. <laughs> I need to mm. reveal this. Okay, if you want to see the result of my uh, love yourself rose arm. <laughs> That's the beautiful rose. It looks just like the original. Ooh. It's prettier than my face, that's for sure. <laughs> this is a total disaster, but maybe I can save it if I put like foundation on. Maybe it'll look like my natural freckles beneath my foundation. <laughs> It's not covering it. Oh my god. I need shape tape. Not even shape tape is covering this. It's even worse! Okay, I'm trying this Dermacol super high coverage foundation. Why did I do this on a Sunday? Vincent. Apply it on the other side as well. <laughs> Ow, ah. Scheiße! I really thought this could work. Hey! <laughs> so this is the finished result with um, a lot of foundation on. Vincent. How to get henna off. <laughs> Apply toothpaste on tattoo and leave to dry it. <laughs> Soak a cotton ball in olive oil and rub it on the henna tattoo. For quick removing process, add some salt, baking soda and lemon juice. <laughs> Go for a swim. <laughs> fuck, fuck my life. Fuck, fuck my life. Fuck, fuck my life. How do you like my new song? It's called Fuck my life. Oh. So viel brauche ich noch ganz falsch. What the fuck am I supposed to do with it? So we're gonna try the olive oil method now. Damn. I mean, actually, you should apply olive oil and salt, but I don't think it's a good idea to apply salt on your face. So I'm just gonna apply olive oil. <gasps> Instagram makeup video. Let's rub it in. <laughs> Alright you guys, this is the finished result. I hope you like it. I hope you are gonna recreate this look. <laughs> Actually, don't do it. Like, don't. I think it came out really professional. <laughs> I regret everything. I actually want to cry. I think I am gonna cry after I finish this video. I think I just used the wrong henna. This is just not the right one. This is just too dark and red. I, I, I fucked up. I need to go to work tomorrow and it's not even possible to cover this. So I'm gonna go through hell. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John Snap on Snapchat, and the Naomi John on Twitter. I feel like I'm gonna cry, honestly. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm crying. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Probably still looking like this. Pray for me, include me in your prayers tonight. Bye.